You say hi. hi. So it's Stacy here. It is September 20th, 2015. Just told Ada I'd take her to the park. So we're sitting here. We walk to the park. And um, no, no driving like I usually do. But I am just sitting here drinking my coffee. I'm going to be honest. I have a stitch of makeup on, just woke up and walked down here. So excuse my my gorgeous Sunday look. But I want to talk to you guys. I haven't weighed in yet. I'm going to weigh in in the morning. Um, not done good this weekend. Um, I'm really feeling lost. I just... Um, I'm so tired of like failing at it and not doing it and not just doing what I'm supposed to do and I know I say this every time and I did good at work but you know what I've noticed is that like okay say if I'll do great all day and follow my plan and what I'm supposed to do and not even starving and then um somebody will say uh anybody want pizza for lunch I'm like yeah like don't even think twice about it it's just like yeah I'm in Forget all I've done or how far I've came. I mean, I guess that's part of, like, the addiction or is that the willpower? I don't know. I just wish, like, food wasn't such a big deal to me. Even, like, on the, um, yesterday I went grocery shopping. And for the weekend, it's, like, every meal, excuse me, has to be, like, this huge thing, like, like plan it out on paper like what are we gonna have for breakfast what are we gonna have for lunch what's gonna be for dinner because it's the weekend and blah 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 instead of just like you know throw two pieces of toast in and put some butter on it and just let that be like your simple breakfast I don't know why every meal has to be like this huge thing so I've been trying to like just get up and have breakfast just have whatever's there just a simple serving breakfast and uh, lunch too like today I did make something in the crock pot but it's got lots of veggies it's kind of like a a beef stew but I bought these I think they're like ribeye steaks from like Dollar Tree <laughs> oh, that sounds awful. I actually got groceries from the Dollar Tree yesterday like $50 worth because I looked up all these recipes on like Pinterest and stuff about meals that you can make from the Dollar Tree because I am like on a budget um, so we'll see how that goes. And it's not much calories to it anyway, except for the, you do add like an egg noodle and I know that's where all the calories. is. So I just want to check in. I will weigh myself in the morning, good or bad though, and make a video. Uh, Miss Gina, she's on me. I, oh, I'm so glad she is though. Gina, I just wanted to say like, um, first of all, I know that you know how it is and that I know that you you see that I can do it. Even if I can't see, I can do it right this minute. But you keep pushing me to try. And I know these videos are helping because it, even when I do bad, it's not as bad like I normally do. Like I'm not ordering pizza and chicken wings. I see you. You swinging? Got the baby girl swinging back there. She's having fun. But all right. I will see you guys in the morning. Ooh. Guys, it is September 22nd. 2015 it's Tuesday not Monday because I got in the scale Monday morning and it was not good so I went into what I usually do and I didn't make a video and um went into hiding and figured I just won't make a video I'll make a video when I do good but no today's Tuesday I got on the scale I weighed 413 which means I gained like five pounds over the past week, weekend, which I knew was going to be bad. Actually, I didn't expect it to be that bad, but I knew it was going to be bad. Um, so that's, it is what it is. That's all I can say right now. Like I'm, I'm frustrated and I don't even know what to say. Like I don't have anything to say. Um, I, the only good thing is I made a doctor's appointment. I haven't had health insurance in a while. And I just got health insurance. Before I lost the weight the first time, I had high blood pressure and I was on medication for that. 
and I was also pre-diabetic, but then I lost the weight and I got off the blood pressure pills and, you know, I wasn't pre-diabetic anymore. Well, now I'm older. I weigh even more than I did before. So it's something that I really want to look into, but I'm scared. You wouldn't even believe how hard it was for me to make the phone call to make the appointment. <laughs> and a lot of it is not even to do with, like, fear of, like, of the, you know, high blood pressure or diabetes or whatever it may be, but just the embarrassment of being overweight, the fear of getting on the scale, the just the shame in it. I don't know if everybody, I just, oh, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm glad I made the appointment, but seriously, it was almost like a, okay, let's just call him. Like I had to force myself to call him, make the appointment, you know, just do it. So I did that, which is October 5th is my appointment. So I will let you know how that goes. Um, I'm still going to make a video next Monday. I'm just going to keep in touch with each Monday and let you know what's going on in my life. And if I'm straightening up and if I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Or if I'm effing up. Which seems to be my MO lately. Another good thing is my health insurance at work covers... Uh, online Weight Watchers, so I've been trying to do that, but it really seems like, diff not difficult, but just more of like a pain in the butt than the normal, like my fitness pal, or I don't understand what the difference between that and that is, but it's free, so I'm looking into that, um, I just downloaded the app, um, what else is going on? <sighs> not much, just this... Um, just life is just really got me kind of in a slump lately. Um, the ex-boyfriend thing is like a little bit stressful right now. Um, a really good friend of mine was friends with me and my husband. We used to go camping together and scrapbook together. She just, her husband's been struggling health-wise. He's only 50 and like they're looking into hospice and I just can't. I don't, I'm, my mind tries to understand how life is, but just the fact that she's having to go through that is just unimaginable. And, you know, and she was with me through the whole thing when I lost my husband, and I just, I can't believe this is happening to her. I can't believe it. And in some ways, it pisses me off. But, all right, I got to go to work, but I just want to check in because I told you guys I would, and I didn't want to because